All right, now that you've read the textbook chapter on TLC and watched my introduction, we're gonna go ahead and do the lab now. First, uh, we wanna prepare our developing chamber here. Grab a piece of filter paper and snip off the uh, kind of the portions there so it makes a, a nice little curve around the glassware like so, okay, so Again, the purpose of that is to saturate the vapors, uh, the air in there with vapors of the solvent so it doesn't evaporate off your TLC plate. Literature says three to one, um, ethyl acetate to ethanol. Let me double check that. Yes, indeed, three to one ethyl acetate to um, alcohol. So three to one is um, going to be like six to two. Um, that should be that should be enough. So we'll put six milliliters of ethyl acetate in here. And this is one uh, time I'm really careful with the volumes. So we'll put six milliliters of ethyl acetate in this graduated cylinder. Put two milliliters of ethanol in here. And that's a total of um, <clears throat> eight milliliters. So what I normally do to mix this up is just <clears throat> aspirate and uh, <clears throat> squirt it in there, you know, four or five times, okay? <clears throat> now we uh, put some on the bottom there, of course, and uh, put some on the filter paper. So I put in about um, six milliliters, six milliliters of solvent. So we'll cover that up and we'll just let this uh, sit, sit for a while, okay? All right, next we're gonna prepare our TLC plate. I think I'll reposition the camera over here so you can kind of see better what's going on. Okay. Tools of the trade, ruler, pencil, Forcep, okay. Always handle the glass TLC plates by the edges, okay. And um, if you look at this on its side, you can see that it's a piece of glass, like a microscope slide. And then there's this thin layer of silica gel on the top. I'll just I'll just uh, scratch it off so you can kind of see, um, you know, kind of like what that looks like. <laughs> So uh, it's just a very small, thin layer of uh, silica gel on there, okay? So what you wanna do is uh, make a little line on the bottom here. And I put uh, three marks on this. to use these uh, Eppendorf tubes and we'll uh, transfer some of our extract in here it's of course very dark green because of the uh, chlorophyll
Next, we'll grab one of our um, capillary tubes that we drew out. Okay. And uh, like I said in the demonstration uh, video that I made, uh, we're gonna spot this on the TLC plate and blow gently to evaporate it, okay? So one spot, then three spots, then five spots from left to right, okay? As you can see in the research paper, the uh, values of the RFs did vary a little bit. So I'm not sure if you can see that um, with, the, with the background there. Um, um, a little bit of uh, liquid has gone up the tube, okay? So we want the, the spots to be small. about 10 seconds in between applications here. All right. And this can be washed out with acetone and reused if you wanted to do that. I'm just gonna leave it here in case I mess up and I have to do it again. So this is what our uh, TLC plate looks like. We've got uh, one spot, three spots, five spots. I'm gonna press it into the uh, solvent chamber and the liquid's gonna go up and then I'm gonna draw a line, okay? Because chlorophyll is uh, colored green, you'll actually be able to see this, um, the mobile phase go up. And I'll adjust the chair here so we can get this down. Okay. All right, we're ready to remove the plate. Organic solvents can evaporate very quickly, so you need to very quickly with your pencil here, make a line for where the solvent front is. Okay, now that we have the position of the solvent front indicated and the uh, in position of the baseline uh, indicated, we can um, now know where uh, those two things are. You can see the green color is chlorophyll and that yellowish color is uh, beta carotenes. Those have gone up a plate very high, so they have very high RFs. There's another colored spot here. There's a yellow spot on the baseline. And we'll go ahead and um, visualize this now using the, uh, the stain we've developed. The interesting thing about these uh, TLC plates that have this uh, glass backing to them is that you can observe on the top where the silica gel is, or you can uh, observe through the, the, the glass, okay, through the back. So I've got my 1% um, circumonium 
in 50% phosphoric acid. And I'm going to dip this in here and uh, we'll see what uh, stains develop. Okay. Not everything's colored. Vinco, um, these vinco, vinca alkaloids are colorless, so we want to dip this into the TLC um, developing solution to get those pink, purple, green, blue spots, you know, that were mentioned in the research paper. So we'll uh, in insert this in here. Okay, we'll pull this out. I always like to uh, dry the back here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take a picture of this with the uh, with the ruler, okay? So I'll try to drain the phosphoric acid off there a little bit by blotting it more. So I'll take two pictures, one through the plate and one through the back, okay? The ruler will be next to it so you can calculate your retention factors. I'll put it right side up so you can just copy and paste and move it over in the video in the uh, thing. All right, so let me get my camera here. Those uh, spots were rather faint, were they not? So I'm going to go ahead and um, increase the amount of spotting. Rather than evaporate this solvent and try to concentrate down the vinca alkaloids, I'm just gonna spot more. So I'm gonna try uh, much more intense spots and see if that clears up the results. And I'll just post the pictures here in a bit. Okay, this is uh, trial two. I just wanted to show you an image. Uh, here a video here of the TLC plate and always you want to hold this by the edges um, so you got some green and, and uh, yellow colors maybe another kind of a colored compound in the middle and on the baseline as well so if we look at it on the back it looks kind of like that um, I'll go ahead and take a picture now and post this Okay, now once again, we want to stain the TLC plate. Uh, the vinca alkaloids are colorless, so you know you might admire the chlorophyll and things like that, but uh, we do need to um, dip this into the 1% uh, circ salt, and this will uh, selectively stain uh, the vinca alkaloids in rather interesting colors if you read the paper. So let's uh, get this in there. And uh, I must have spotted like 20 times on this TLC plate. It was, it was a lot of um, spotting. Okay, to try to get uh, as much of this compound visible as possible. Okay, and the results I suspect are going to be much, much better this time around. All right, so um, this is the stained. TLC plate with um, the cerium salt. So you can see how the spots kind of overlap a little bit there. There's a little pinkish spot in the middle and the chlorophyll really jammed up. Now this third column here, I didn't let the ethanol fully evaporate. So that's why you've got that coma or comet effect there on the right. And we don't want that. If I flip it over, the third lane will be on the lane one. Okay, so ignore lane one on the back ignore lane, lane three on the front. So let me take a picture now and I'll post this. All right, so uh, that concludes the lab. Uh, to throw away these microcapillaries and the TLC plates, you just put those in the glass waste uh, container there and uh, throw away your solvents in the organic waste. And that's pretty much uh, the lab. So uh, I hope you enjoyed these labs. Uh, this lab uh, was front, my first attempt doing it. Uh, improvements I would have made in the future would be to evaporate the ethanol solution and concentrate it down quite a bit and uh, fool around with the uh, staining procedure a little bit better so that my uh, colors showed up more intent more appropriately so 
I just want to make a note, a comment here that we're using ceric ammonium nitrate. Um, it's this substance here, ceric ammonium nitrate, and it has the most amazing um, orange color, okay? Now, the literature procedure says to use ceric ammonium sulfate, okay? And I didn't have ceric ammonium sulfate, so I used the ceric ammonium nitrate. Similar results may or may not be obtained from this. Nitrate can, of course, be an oxidizer, so different things could happen with that state. All right, so that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed these labs.